Good morning on this Tuesday is 836. The beach is one of the first places to take a hit when we see any type of tropical disturbance. In this case, a tropical storm. Yeah, three news reporter Simone Simpson has been live all morning long with us here on First Edition. Thank you to all you at home that are staying with us for our continued coverage of Tropical Storm Harold. Uh, Simone, behind you, I think I see somebody running or jogging back there. Uh, earlier you were in the water. Has the water moved out at all or do you still see limited beach area because the water's so high up? Hey, John Thomas, yes, we have limited beach area, as you can tell. I mean, we barely have a few feet of sand um, from what it looks like normally out here. Um, I want to take your attention to the structure um, back there. And to answer Carly's question earlier, I would say the waves are about two to three feet high. And that's only my estimate, but the winds have picked up here. I can feel the sand hitting my face. You can probably hear the aggression of the wind on the microphone as we speak. Um, but we have seen a few more cars park out here. Um, I've been seeing people in their cars. They're taking their cameras out to get a video or get pictures. And we just can't stress it enough that it's just not safe to be out here to take uh, pictures and videos. Um, it's just not worth the risk. Um, I'm looking down here and I, I see a jogger as well. Um, so again, we just want to stress, just be safe out here. And John Thomas, I'm going to toss it back to you. I do have a question for you, Simone. Have you seen anybody with uh, the county parks out there patrolling or any police in the area? Uh, any barricades going up warning people to stay away? I do see a car right here, a truck for Nueces County Coastal Parks right here as we speak. Um, but as far as barriers, I don't see any that have come up yet. Uh, cars are still um, freely able to drive up to the pavement um, as we speak. But as I showed you earlier, that water is coming in high. It is reaching where the pavement is. So again, there's not much drivable space. Um, but yes, I do see Nueces County Coastal Parks truck right here. And and also earlier we uh, saw you said that you saw a surfer get out there try to take a wave but then get right out right away has anybody else tried to get into the water yes yeah, so i saw the surfer uh, at our previous location uh, that was at north padre island i have not seen any surfers out here uh, by bob hall pier um, Forgive me, I'm not sure if that was the question you asked, John Thomas. It's, it's hard to hear you. I was going to say, we understand it's difficult yes. to hear uh, over by the former Bob Hall Pier that was torn down during Hurricane Hannah. Uh, suffered too much damage there that is currently being replaced. Uh, Simone, uh, take some cover if you can. Be safe out there. We appreciate your reporting. You've been hard at work since yes. 5, uh, keeping us all informed of what conditions look like out and there. And we can definitely hear the wind picking up. We can definitely see the waves picking up. We 